I want to transition now to relationships with friends. And I want to bring up the use of the N-word. Um, and I'd just like to paint a picture for you, Acho. So throughout my teenage years and into adulthood, growing up in the 305 Miami, I've heard Hispanic people, Latinos, using the N-word in groups amongst each other, basically as like a term of endearment, right? When nobody in the group was black, and I still hear it to this day. Now, I've never felt comfortable using that word, to be quite honest, and I've chosen to use other words of endearment, like bro and dog and dude or whatnot. But I've been around other Hispanic people who pretty much use it freely. So, I mean, in my belief, it shouldn't be used, period. And if it is used, it should be reserved for black people to decide. So why do you think that so many Latinos think they have ownership over that word and just pretty much feel comfortable using it? That's a packed question, which I'm gonna try to unpack in a concise manner. Um, I don't think black, white, Hispanic people alike know the history of the N-word. Why do I not think that? Because um, I would consider myself a fairly educated individual. And it wasn't until I really did a deep dive into texts from the late 1800s from abolitionists like Frederick Douglass that I really felt the derogatory nature of the N-word. Now, everybody knows the N-word's a, a bad word. Like everybody knows blackface is bad. But do we really know why? Like when you read texts from abolitionist Frederick Douglass in the late 1800s, he writes about how his master told him reading would spoil an N-word because you were nothing more than a slave to your master. See, when you really hear the word in the context of how it was being used back then, then you would understand like, oh, wait a second, I white person or I Hispanic person probably shouldn't say that. Now, growing up, I heard Hispanic people say it. I heard brown people say it that weren't necessarily black. And I think it may come from a place of, well, look, we're oppressed too. So yeah, well, like, are we not kind too. of lumped into the fact of, hey, if we're being honest, Generally speaking, historically speaking, white people don't really like us either. Hmm. So that's kind of our thing as well. Um, but I do think it's a word in which black people have now changed to a term of endearment. I'll say this and I'll be done with the matter. I've hung out with you and Rachel several times. Y'all my people, we go back years now. I don't tell you what to call Rachel and I don't tell Rachel what to call you. It may be babe, it may be baby, it may be sugar, it may be honey bun, I don't know. But I don't tell y'all what to call each other because y'all have a relationship and based on that relationship that y'all share that I am not a part of or privy to, y'all dictate names for each other. In the same manner, black people have relationships based on their mutual and shared blackness that other people are not privy to. So I submit that when white people are like, wait, black person, you shouldn't use this, I wouldn't walk down the street and be like, Ryan, you shouldn't call Rachel whatever. Who am I? Yeah. That's y'all's relationship. Um, and I think it's really as simple as that. Acho, you from Texas, right? Yes, sir. So you know Chameleonaire? Uh, <laughs> I know of Chameleonaire. Yeah, no, of, no, no of Chameleonaire. My apologies. Thank you mm -hmm. for that. No of Chameleonaire. So I don't know if you remember this, but this is like 15 years ago. I'm from Dallas. Chameleonaire was once rapping at one of his concerts and he was using the N-word because he was rapping along to his songs, right? And yep. he got scared because 70% of listeners of rap are Caucasian, right? And they were just simply enjoying it and singing along to a song, saying the N-word as well. He got scared because of that, right? Because it was thousands of white people saying it. They weren't saying it derogatorily, but they were just reciting his songs. So he vowed not to say it again because he knows that when he goes to concerts, there'll be white people in the audience that simply just want to, quite honestly, recite the songs. What do you feel about that? It's not a term of Brian and Rachel talking to each other. They're just simply rapping along to a Takashi 6 9 song or the baby song or whatever. That's good. That's a really good question. To that, I would say this. I live a life in which I would rather be safe than sorry. So to my white brothers and sisters, you don't know the visceral reaction that the black person you're with may have to that word. You don't know the visceral reaction that the white person you're with may have to that word. So I would just forsake saying it all together. I don't really curse go. in my life. So when I rap songs, I don't, I, I skip by the curse words. Not just like I skip by the curse words. It's not that difficult. I respect Chameleon Air though, because if people know me in my intimate circles of my intimate black spaces, I use the N word freely as a term of endearment. 
but you ain't never gonna hear me say it publicly or around white people because I do not want to make that okay. Yeah. You feel right, me? Did we not talk about that? Yeah, we talked about that. <laughs> like, you, you, ne- you will never hear Emmanuel Lacho say it, ever, in life. But in my intimate spaces with my black brothers and sisters, you hear me say it freely as a term of endearment. And, and mind you, and we can't get into the details of this, and I don't want to park here for long, but I'm going to just put the car in neutral real quick. You got to remember, black people have changed the term of the N-word. Like there's a difference between saying the N word with a hard E-R and the N word with an A. I don't even type the N word with a hard E-R. So like, and, and, I, and I don't even, black people have changed that term and that meaning. And we just all have to be cognizant of that. 